The workplace can be a very stressful environment, right? The pressure to over deliver with constantly rising expectations from your boss or from your client or the lack of control over your own work or the way your work should be done. Okay, we can understand that a little bit of stress is normal, can be healthy sometimes. But when the stress you experience at work starts to impact your personal life, this is not okay. Today we're going to reduce your stress at work, so keep watching. Hey, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy professionals be more productive to get back in control of their own time. If this sounds like you, consider subscribing to this channel so that we can hang out together twice a week. If you think you experience stress at work, let me know in the comment section below and write stress. First, if you feel discomfort at work, we need to make sure it's stress related. I don't want to spend time presenting solutions to stress if what you experience is not really stress. It wouldn't make sense, right? It would not really help. So what are the symptoms you're experiencing? Are you feeling anxious, irritable, kind of depressed? Do you feel fatigued or do you have problems sleeping or maybe trouble focusing? Do you experience any headaches or stomach issues? I want to get things straight. I'm not a doctor, so everything I'm going to talk about is based on my own experience. If you really feel like heavy stress, uh, maybe close to burnout, you should definitely see a doctor. But if you experience some of these symptoms, you definitely need to keep watching as I'll show you five ways to reduce stress. First thing to do is to evacuate your stress with physical activity. Make sure you make some time in your calendar for daily exercise. Even if you tell me, Hugo, I don't have time, I have so much to do. First of all, you know me, you know I won't believe you on this. But second of all, I promise you that these 30 minutes that you take at the beginning of the day will make you achieve much more within that day. And you will be more focused and more productive. And I promise, just doing this already will change so much in your routine and stress level. I'm not necessarily talking about hitting the gym and lift weight. Just 30 minutes of moderate activity, it's as easy as walking or running or anything that will lift your heartbeat up will be good for you. It's basic neurochemistry. Exercise reduces adrenaline and cortisol levels which are your body's stress hormones, but it also releases the production of endorphins, which is the body's natural painkillers and mood elevators hormones. As a result, you will raise your confidence level, much needed when feeling stressed. Second strategy to reduce stress is to look at what's in your plate. And I'm not talking at this point at what's on your plate. It's different. Reduce sugar and refined carbs intake which give you peaks and crashes when it comes to energy levels. Also reduce caffeine. It can get you too excited and stimulate your stress. Also eat more omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, walnuts or anchovies. Uh, very good to reduce effects of stress as it reduces the damage caused by the cortisol, the stress hormone. Also, do you smoke? You know what I'm going to say, and it's not even stress related. Joke aside, nicotine is a stimulant and reducing nicotine intake will help reduce your stress level as well. Third tip to reduce stress in the workplace is to actually sleep better. The better rested you are, the better position you are to tackle stressful situations in the workplace. If you don't sleep enough, your brain doesn't have the time to recover and to perform at its best potential. And when we talk about brain potential, we're talking about your brain's ability to be creative, to be positive, focused, and productive. You can do simple things to improve your sleep, like going to bed and waking up at very strict hours, for example, or having a nighttime routine to prepare your body to fall asleep, which includes turning off screens one hour before going to bed, for example. I don't know if you noticed, but at this point, we haven't even talked about organizational tips or strategies to make you less stressed. There is a reason for that. And the reason is simple. When you have healthy habits, you are more in control of how you react to events in your life and you shut the door to stress more easily. That's as simple as that. 
The fourth tip is to prioritize and organize your work. The more you will plan and will be in control of your schedule, the less you will leave room for improvisation and the stress that comes with it. I strongly recommend to watch the Urgent Important Matrix video that is going to pop up right here to learn how to make the distinction between what is important and what is urgent. This will allow you to prioritize your activities and spend more time on more fulfilling tasks that are more aligned to your goals. Also, do not overcommit on deadlines that would put unnecessary pressure on you and that could create additional and unnecessary stress. Also, stress in the workplace can come from people. Establish healthy boundaries with your coworkers. This is very important. And I really strongly recommend to check out the video right here that I made with my friend Dr. Shelley to easily set boundaries in an effective way. The fifth strategy that I have to reduce stress at work is meditation. And meditation has benefits in twofold. First, you can use meditation as an emergency tool in order to reduce stress on the spot. It's more reactive. When you feel like you reach a certain point and you can't take it, you can use breathing exercises or some type of guided meditation that help you calm down and get back in control of your own emotions. Or you can use meditation more on long term and that's more of a substantive type of work usually on a daily basis. Daily meditation is so powerful to help you prevent stress and it has also a lot of other benefits. All these five strategies are complementary from each other. If there is one that you would like to work on right now, which one would it be? Is it exercise, diet, sleep, prioritization, meditation? Let me know in the comment section below. I really want to know so that I can maybe create a dedicated video to that specifically. Thanks for watching my videos week after week, guys. That really means a lot. You can subscribe to my channel right here and also watch more videos right here. See you next week. Au revoir.